Okay guys, coming at you. It's been a little while, but I'm honestly, I'm in good spirits right now. A um, lot to cover here, so I'll just kind of dive right in. So, I have been in contact with the video editor, and I'm going to do a little mini-series. In the lead up to two powerlifting meets. So I got the powerlifting meet in five weeks, which I think I'm going to go push-pull. I think I'll throw a bench in there too as well. Um, and I have been doing all the lifts. I've been squatting but I've been doing 18 inch box squats, um, high bar, bellows, bare knee, just to kind of get my legs a little bit. I've been deadlifting and I've been benching. So I think I'm gonna do push pull at that one. And then I'm also gonna do a me probably in December. Uh, and then I think I finalized what I'm gonna do here, which will be the half marathon in November. So I've got about 20 weeks before that one, November 13th, I think is the date. So I'm going to do a video series in the lead up to all of these, just kind of like Nick Bear does. And it won't be as maybe as good of quality. Obviously, he has a bigger budget, more resources. But heck, I'm going to try to do my own spin on this and make it pretty good because I'm kind of doing that hybrid athlete type lifestyle now. And I have to say, it's been encouraging. I think it's been five weeks now that I've been running. And the first mile time was I was kind of feeling things out. It wasn't like an all out mile. So I should preface things with that. Um, but it was 924 was the first one. Today, 608 PR. Heck yeah. So my lifetime PR mile was when I was in eighth grade. I weighed about 150 pounds and I did a 605 on a track. So you could debate that the track would be slightly harder than treadmill, of course. But 608 at 220 pounds. Well, really, I should say 220 with shoes and clothes on. But in the morning, I've gotten down to 215 as low as anywhere from 215 to 218 in the last few days. And, you know, getting leaner, losing body fat. So things are going well. Uh, strength is not great, but it's holding up. So really encouraging, though, to like be like 65, 70 pounds heavier and be running the same mile time almost. I did actually get outside. You guys are going to be proud of me. I did get outside, I tried out the track here in town, and uh, I would say it was about the same difficulty as the treadmill. Like truthfully, it felt like the same degree of difficulty. So I would like to get outside. The problem with running outside, why I can't always do it is, I am at the gym, literally I get here at 4.45 every morning, Monday through Friday, and then I'm here till 6, 6.30. So, and then at the other time, I want to spend with my wife and kid, my daughter. So I'm trying to find times where I don't even, even if I woke up in the morning, I want to be around them. So I think what I'll do is one day a week, I'll do outside and the rest of it, maybe, maybe two, maybe I'll be able to do another track workout, a speed workout each week outside, but the rest of them are going to be on the treadmill. And, you know, this is going to come as a shocker to you guys. I was running in my Adidas cloud form, which are not meant for running at all. And my shins were killing me. Like my, my ankle, the in, inner ankle pain was, was bad. Uh, I believe it's called anterior tibial something, which is just inner shin splints. So I got some nice shoes, some, some running shoes. And yes, I copied Nick Bear. I got what he wears. Not the vapor fly, not for, you know, but just his uh, Nike, uh, what is it, Saucony Endorphin Speed 2s. And lo and behold, the shin and ankle pain is way, way less, like 80% reduced. I still have a little soreness, but no like pain where I was like in excruciating pain before. So there you go. Having the right running shoes helps. I also supinate too much. I'm an under pronator. So it, that's part of the, the issues there. But hey, 608 mile today. That's very exciting. Big PR. Um, I'll have that in the series. Deadlift has been going great. I made some tweaks to my, my training. So now I'm doing three days a week of deadlift three days a week of bench, and then two days a week of squats. So basically I'll do run one day, the next day I'll do either SBD or it'll be just bench deadlift. So basically we're doing almost six days of training, three days of running, three days of lifting. And my body composition looks great. Um, like I said, the definition showing up, everything's going great. So that's been fun. And then um, I'm just really encouraged. Things are going well. I think I'm not going to make any predictions as far as what's going to happen at the meet, but it is, uh, I think I could do pretty well and I'll be lighter. 
Also, oh hey, I got the I got this Garmin. I got a Garmin uh, five five. So this thing said my resting heart rate over the course of the last week is forty two. Now one of the days yesterday my resting heart rate was thirty six. So my fitness is improving tremendously. I'm hitting running PRs all the time. Uh, my fitness is improving. This this thing's been awesome because now I can track what I'm running outside and like my speed and pace and all that. Um, some other things. Guess who's on the podcast this week? Kaylor Woolham. I got Kaylor Woolham. He's going to be coming on the podcast, so he's the next guest. And I've been working it. We're going to try to get Ivan on squat every day, Ivan, next week. So I think we got Kaylor this week, and we'll have Ivan next week. So that's the plan as far as the podcast is concerned. Um, I think I'm still going out to see Jeff Cavalier at the end of July. I think so. I'm not, it hasn't been 100% finalized, but I think that's still going to happen. Um, let's see what else. Those are the main things. Baby daughter's doing great, trying to balance it. Some nights I don't sleep as good. And, you know, my wife, she's been a trooper. I got to give her that. She has been a, a trooper. We're at 11 and a half weeks. You know, it's not always easy, but we're making it as far as uh, the baby crying and things like that. So but my daughter's doing well. My wife's doing well. We're, we're making it, and the gym's making it, and... I can't complain. Thanks for the support, guys. You know, uh, I hope this video series thing, I hope you guys like it when when uh, the first episode comes out. I'm trying to compile enough footage, and then I'll send it off and hopefully get it edited nicely, and we'll see what uh, we'll see what it comes back like. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, all the things. Appreciate y'all.